Thank you so much. I feel genuinely humbled and privileged to receive this award, which I accept on behalf of the whole of the NHS and all the people that have played such a crucial role in helping us move this endeavour forward. Let me explain why. It goes back many years to when I was a medical student and I learnt about venous thromboembolism and its complications, and it seemed like a very serious condition. But when I became a junior doctor, I was struck by the fact that all the consultants I worked for had different views on how to prevent, whether to prevent, and how to treat venous thromboembolism. And that led me to a place in my mind where I thought, well, if there's that much variation, it can't be that important. But fast forward to the time that I was medical director, and I was asked to attend the all-party parliamentary thrombosis group. And that was an enlightening moment, because what I heard was convincing evidence that a large number of people were dying in our hospitals from venous thromboembolism, and that a significant proportion of those deaths were avoidable. But it was really during the discussion that I learnt the most. Once the evidence had been presented, it was clear that nobody was arguing with the figures, but then John Black, who was president of the Royal College of Surgeons, popped his hand up and said, I did my thesis on this 30 years ago and nothing's changed. What are you going to do about it? You should make prophylaxis mandatory. And then Ian Gilmore, the president of the Royal College of Physicians, popped his hand up and said very much the same. And I gave a fairly wishy-washy response. I explained that it wasn't the role of the medical director to tell clinicians how to conduct their practice. It wasn't the way we wanted to function in the NHS. We wanted clinical autonomy and local leadership. But as I walked back to my office, I became increasingly bothered by the fact that senior members of the medical profession were asking me to force them to do what they knew they needed to do. And then suddenly it dawned on me that wasn't what they were asking at all. They were saying, make it easier for us to do what we know needs to be done for our patients. So I assembled the 10 Strategic Health Authority Medical Directors and we discussed this and we thought that we had alighted on a very important issue. And we decided that it might well form a priority for the NHS. We then met with the presidents of all the medical royal colleges and asked them what their views were. And within relatively short order, we all agreed that this should become a priority for the National Health Service. I then went back to the NHS Management Board and colleagues there agreed. And then we had to decide who did what. And what we agreed was that the colleges um, and other clinical organizations would use their communication channels to highlight the magnitude of the problem with their members. My job, on the other hand, was to work with managerial and policy colleagues in the Department of Health to ensure that we could put financial and other levers into the system to promote the change that was required. Consequent upon those conversations, prophylaxis for venous thromboembolism became the number one clinical priority for the NHS. We put in a number of incentives to ensure that the NHS would now do what the clinical leaders had asked for and what we should always have been doing. The end result was that over a very short period we went from assessing something of the order of 20% of patients submitted to our hospitals for venous thromboembolism over a period of 18 months to over 90%. That is the most rapid and dramatic change in clinical practice that I've ever seen in the National Health Service. And it's for this reason that I am so pleased to accept this award on behalf of the National Health Service and on behalf of the all-party parliamentary group that pointed all of us in the right direction, and in particular to the fantastic and valuable support that we've received from Thrombosis UK. Thank you so much.